Anthony, we'll start with you. Tell us a little bit about your company. Thank you, Andra. Uh, Synapsis Therapeutics is a drug uh, development company okay. uh, focused on Parkinson's with a drug candidate that is a reformulation or a new way to deliver a drug that has been approved and used for Parkinson's patients. Uh, it treats what's called off episodes. These patients actually freeze up okay. during the day, sometimes several times a day. Uh, and the uh, drug is only available as an injection. And our approach has been to translate that into what you would probably understand as a Listerine strip, uh -huh. known as a sublingual thin film strip that is easily administered. Parkinson's is a very significant disease with the baby boomer generation. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, our approach offers an opportunity to expand the market significantly. And tell us, how strong is your patent position? Very good question, Andra. The uh, patent position is based on a system solution, which is almost like what's called composition of matter, which is one of the strongest patent positions to have in this industry. Uh, and we also have focused the patent uh, uh, claims, as they're called, in the area of the actual amount of drug over a specific period of time, known as the pharmacokinetic profile. So it's a very strong patent position from that perspective. And how big is the potential market for this new delivery method? The, uh, the existing market, uh, as your question intimates, is, uh, is small. It's about 50 million US dollars worldwide, which is infinitesimally right. small. Uh, but because there are a number of patients that do not use this injection, the potential market is expected to be somewhere between a minimum of 300 million and likely closer to 600 million per year. And why do you think it is that no one else came up with this solution to convert the injection into some other form of delivery? Um, it, I don't know why they didn't, but actually many have tried. Over the last 15 years, there have been about 10 companies. Why would you say they failed then? Um, they had a number of assumptions that they went into. They tried intranasal. Right. They tried patches on the arm. They've tried tablets that dissolve under the tongue. Uh, they've tried a variety of different approaches, but they never had the opportunity to think about all those failures, which we benefited from and we're able to think about how to deal with the chemistry in, a, in an elegant, simple solution, which today is the Listerine strip type uh, delivery mechanism. Okay, so what would your prognosis for the future be, um, say in the mid to late 2013, from a, from a value realization perspective? So we have, in the end of 2011, we have two major reporting um, uh, data sets, one being a 500 neurologist survey from neurologists around the world on the unmet medical need, and more importantly, the first human studies on the actual use of the strip and how it delivers the drug, uh, amount of drug in a specific period of time. Uh, and then in 2012, we will complete the clinical studies that the FDA mm -hmm. has asked us, uh, the Federal Drug Administration of the United States has asked us to undertake. Uh, and we would anticipate that we would be ready to file what's called a new drug application uh, by mid to late 2013. And coincidental with that, we expect that our existing discussions with large pharma uh, are going to materialize into some sort of significant deal. Okay, thank you so much.